so that was embarrassing. Go see mummy then. Go see mummy. Oi. Go see mummy. Go see. been a morning the girls woke me up at nine o'clock just barking and barking and barking and I don't know what for my head was throbbing I had a migraine then we bought a laser printer online the tracking information was all working and then suddenly it stopped working then I decided to try and email the company. I did that yesterday. It got rejected like the email did. So I tried emailing again today. Got rejected again. So I went on to PayPal to see if what like the details were of the seller. Typed all into Google. Couldn't find them. So I tried typing that laser like particular laser printer that we ordered into Amazon, eBay. Zoom, Google, everything. Can't find it. I think it's just frustrating because on the when the website worked, it really looked all legit. Um, the customer reviews looked legitimate. Everything, and I got a feeling now that we've been had. So. My mental health craft budget doesn't come in till like next week. We were relying on this laser printer to print ev like to make everybody's presents for Christmas. So nobody's got presents. I found a laser engraver on Amazon. So his parents have been amazing and lent us the money to buy it. And as soon as my budget comes in next week obviously we'll pay him back. But it's just frustrating. Like, why do people do it? I know, obviously, they want to make money, but it's Christmas, for God's sake. <sighs> Not a great start to the Monday morning. I also rang the Oxygen, left a message, waiting for them to ring me back because they didn't pick up. I rang the Heating account, like the Housing Association for that, left a message and they rung back. And they're sorting it out. They've arranged for somebody to come out today. Whoop whoop. It's been a little busy this morning. And it's only one o'clock. That actually doesn't seem that bad. I woke up at nine, but I didn't come, like, get out of bed until half eleven. And that's when I woke so far. So, far. so we'll all that in. One and a half hours. Now that makes it look like it was a lot in a short space of time. <sighs> and we've got to try and go shopping on a budget of like £15. We need to like get a week's worth of meals, breakfast, dinners, fluid encouragements. We haven't got like Christmas food like mince pies or anything. And we have to have that. We can't not. And I need to try and figure out how to wrap Zach's present. This day just seems like a dawning day already. I wonder what will happen next. We've just had breakfast. So it's literally the second just bought a coffee in for me. So I'll probably drink that. And then go back to sleep for a little bit. Sounds good to me. Oh, the lady on the heat end was just like, Why haven't you called us out sooner? Well, we tried sorting it ourselves. That was just really sweet of her to say. Hmm. The boiler people have been and gone. Yay! Um, we have heating. What is this? 
what is this warmth? Um, basically, the thermostat, we th it's got a little box next to it that makes you think that it's powered by electricity, but it's battery powered and it had ran out of batteries. So they had to come and change batteries. Which we didn't know it was battery powered, we were never told when we moved in. Um, so that was embarrassing, but it wasn't too bad because one of the, uh, I don't know what they called it, it's like the pipe that the water drips down through, like a condensation and stuff. That pipe keeps, like, it kept falling out because it wasn't done properly. And so, um, they, they've changed that now. Um, and they, first of all, they just glued it up. And then they said, if it starts to leak, you're going to have to call us out again. And I was like, okay. And then they just left. I went and had a look at it, and it was leaking. So I ran out quickly. They were still in the van, which was quite lucky. And I was just like, it's still leaking. There's quite a few drips coming down. And so they had to just completely replace the whole of that pipe. Um, and now they've put it in the same position that it started off at. Because when we first moved in, it was, like, just pointed, like, back towards the wall. And then um, it needed replacing because it broke or something. And for some reason, the person who replaced it put it, put, like, put it so that it came away from the wall, down at a weird angle, which kind of ended up just sitting level, and then down. So, like, the panel of wood that's supposed to stop anything from getting into it couldn't get to the wall so there was nothing like supporting it or anything it was just like kept getting knocked and things um so they've changed that now and we now have heating to the extent that i just had to t turn down the thermostat because it was too hot in here like what is that see this see this radiator it's warm yay we have so I've woke up finally I got an hour's bit of rough sleep because the girls are still barking we need to go shopping because we literally have nothing to eat because money's been so tight we've been really not buying anything this is even and I look like I've lost weight my face Anyway, um, Alba's just sat next to, I can feel a draft out of that door now, babe. Yeah. Sorry, we've, Soph's mum felt, thought she felt a draft, and Soph couldn't feel it, and I'm sat and I can just suddenly feel it. Um, but anyway, back to the story. <laughs> um, Alba knows that we're, we're going out and they're staying here for a second, because she went and sat next to her calendar and that's the treats that they're getting when we go out at the moment that was so super cute are you cute alba are you cute i am mum so we're just gonna go give them the treats i'm gonna run to the post box i've missed it now anyway but it don't make a difference it can go tomorrow and yeah bloody hell it's hot in here <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go, and we'll see you when we get back. I just came outside, and I said, "Red bones out here," and Sophie took her and said that um, when the gas man came, because we haven't come through the back, because obviously it goes to the kitchen, and that way they don't have to keep traipsing through the house, and they just go through the back door, and they don't have to disturb the dogs through the living room. And Sophie said that. Um, he asked, uh, Alba took red bone to the man and when um, whenever anybody turns up whether it's us or whether it's somebody else Alba has to take a toy to them to welcome them to the house and that's why red bones in the garden how cute red bone we've just got in the car from shopping and there was this man it was such a cool little thing. It 
it had it looked like a kid's tricycle but taller and it had a cushioned seat and basically what you do is your poorly leg you kneel on this seat and you push off with your good leg so you're resting your poorly leg you've got handlebars to support your arms and it means you can still be independent I was just blown away why is the lights on still babe Boots not shut. I'm thinking you can still see me on the vlog. You shouldn't be able to still see me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just I was so blown away by this thing. Literally, I think I said it was amazing about five times. I was just so happy. I was like, I wish I had that. Like, I used to have to use crutches in the early stages of my muscular dystrophy getting like worsening. And it would still tire me out, but this lights off. I would have been able to keep my mobility for a little bit longer, I reckon, if I had that little Uji flip trike scooter adult gizmo thing. Oh, <sighs> and brief. Um, yeah, Soph didn't tell you earlier because she got so excited about the bloody heating. But I had the oxygen company ring, uh, oxygen team ring me, and they were just like, "I noticed that uh, you rung a little while back, and your name got wrote down, but there's not a cross next to it. Did anybody ring you back?" And I was like, uh, "No." And that was two months ago. Long story short, they're going to get me into the oxygen clinic so that they can find the right concentrator for me or amount of oxygen and whatever else um because they don't want to give me the inogen back the portable concentrator because it's on pulse and because i'm on four liters if i'm on pulse which is basically every time i breathe in it gives me oxygen they don't think i'll be getting the right amount of dosage because of the way my muscles and my lungs work so they're going to get me into the clinic and i think they're going to do a trial and error of a few different things and um, basically, because I said that I'm supposed to be going away the 22nd, 23rd and 24th, if I don't get something sorted, I can't have Christmas. So what they're doing, they're doing a holiday prescription for me with an oxygen concentrator called the Eclipse, I think it was. Um, I've had it before, but it was just too heavy too bulky and it replaced my main concentrator at home um to which i was always on it and um it meant that it wouldn't charge up for going out and we we at the time our car we had lexi then which was our little car and we didn't have a cigarette charging point, so obviously we could never charge it when we went out. So literally, I was more of a hermit than what I am now. So now that we've got um, Nala, our big car, um, and we've got the cigarette point points, we're going to be using that because it can be charged at the wall and in the car. So I will have a portable oxygen concentrator that I can. It can go between post and continuous flow which is obviously what I'm on now and what I'm on at home so I'll be getting the right dosage of oxygen that I need so that's coming on the 20th of this month and I'm getting it till about mid January I, I, she didn't state a date she's she just wants me to be covered for Christmas and New Year so that I can enjoy the holiday season which was really really amazing and thoughtful of her and she asked me if I'd seen the oxygen dude and I was just like no and he doesn't even return my calls either and then she was just like well have you been seen in clinic and I was like no because when the appointment came through I was in hospital and because I got things sorted um, with the NIV team when I went there um, this is ridiculous there's this car parked literally 
about four foot from the corner and safe having to go up on the curb um yeah because i got it sorted by the niv team when i was there and um by my consultant um i got discharged um so nobody ever saw me which is ridiculous it's a continual care that i should still be getting and um so yeah she's organizing to me to go to our nearest oxygen clinic um to find the best equipment for me it might be air liquid um, or liquid oxygen sorry or it might be what we've got oxygen concentrator it might just be cylinders but a lot more of them or it could be a combination of two i don't know so that will be interesting that will be done in the new year hopefully but hooray for oxygen over christmas it's oh it's just lifted a weight off of us because i said to sophie yesterday that if i don't get something sorted i can either go with my mum go to my mum but not go to sophie's granddad celebration um or i don't see my mum and go to sophie's granddad's or i don't see either of them and i just go to sophie's parents and we take our like main concentrator so whoop whoop i'm so happy and as well you were, which was um, stressing me even more, because obviously if I don't go, Soph probably wouldn't go. <sighs> yes. Woohoo! Now we've just got home. We're going to take the girls out quickly. Going to put a little booty on Dixie's foot so she can keep her bandage safe. And we're going to go take them on the ball. And then we'll come home, take the shopping in. We're going to eat. And then I'll cut more fabric up, fabric up, fabric up. I'm going to do more colouring. Colouring and fabric. <laughs> I love you. Good. These are the Christmas lights we can see from our window. How frustrating are these? Like... Apologies if you have ones like these on your house. But they're so bright and so... Flickery. Flashing, flickery, not in sync flashing and flickery and it's just frustrating yeah i like the little ones yeah but <sighs> yeah two things to celebrate here people first off i've managed to put the washing away on my own again and secondly all by the rim of the hood of that hoodie because the heating's been on all of the washing is dry that means we can start doing the rest of the washing whoop whoop Sophie's just currently trying to fix my chair. She's just come upstairs and I told her she can't normally put my meds plate in like where the commode bit is. Like the, the plate sits there perfectly. I told her, I don't know. But I said to her not to do it. That way's anti-clock for you but clock weighs for me. That's anti-clock for you. I think. Yeah, and I nearly fell head first going into the bathroom. The front wheel is practically off. And the problem is, I'm twisting and it ain't tightening or loosening. So. No. So I don't have a clue what's gone on, but I nearly had a serious accident. There is a screw on the inside, but I don't know, like, up the shaft. Let, um, just, if you can... I can see it up there, but obviously you can't get to it. It's not a screw, it's a allen key. Yeah, that's what it's called. An allen key you would get up there. Yeah, but we haven't got one. It's a massive one. I don't know what to do about Maybe that. tomorrow we can ask Tori next door if she's got any allen keys. And I'm just gonna have to crawl on the floor. Yeah, because you can't sit on that. Look at it, guys. 
show the other one that is not moving at all. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be able to do that. No. Like it shouldn't, it shouldn't be able to come undone. No. Like that. Yeah, that's not going to tighten it. It's just reality that it's tightening it. Maybe if you ask Tori tomorrow then, with Ryan living there, I'm sure they'll have some form of tools. Ridiculous. What scares me most is the fact that you've got independence to come up here on your own. If I wasn't here and you'd sat on that and you'd gone, mm. I wouldn't know anything about it until I got back. Well, I transfer at the top of the fucking stairs. Yeah. Sorry about my French, but the way I sit on that chair, that will is in the middle of the stairs at the top yeah and so i would have lent on it and i would have gone down straight down the stairs guys i'm so angry i'm so angry and upset about that no. we shall see what we can do do you want to just push it into the bathroom yeah. or, um, I'll push it into the other bathroom. oh yeah true so now I have no independence because that's going to be taken away because it's it's not safe. See, yeah, we rely on this equipment to help me get by every day, and it, with a click of a finger, something goes wrong, and my independence goes. It's it's absolutely shocking that. I can be independent one minute and not next. So I'm going to do all my reds, my nebs, and we'll come back to you guys in a minute. Just as we get the camera out, she stops doing it. I'm filling, filling up their treats and so doing the stuff, but she keeps, I'm not even in the camera, but she keeps bobbing backwards and forwards because I got the treats, but Sophie needs to. Like this, go see mommy. I'm conflicted. Right, now go see mummy. Did I eat it? Yes, you did. Go see mummy then. Are you sure? Go see mummy then. Go see mummy. Oi, go see mummy. 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 Look at the tilt you had, guys. Go see mummy. Go get your wipes. Go have your wipes then. <laughs> have your wipes then. Go see mommy. <laughs> Go see mommy. Go see mommy. Good girl, Good girl Dixie. Dixie first <laughs> Look at Alva's face. And they're different because yeah. we have to get cheaper ones from Tesco's. Yeah. That face is so cute. That's my face. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my treats down there. Right there. To be fair, they're quite smelly ones. They are very smelly. They, they really smell like meat. We've been so hot, guys, that we had to start stripping our clothes off and had the red door open. <laughs> but we didn't want to turn the heat off because upstairs gets really, really cold. Yeah. By the time it's bedtime. It's so. gone from one extreme to the next. Yeah, I mean, it's how about up the stairs. 
Oh, going up the stairs, it's been... Because I don't do good in temperature changes, which is why I have a mask and scarves and whatever else. And usually, every time I come up the stairs, it would really play havoc on my chest. I came up the stairs, my chest was fine. No, no issues, no coughing, nothing. And I am so, so happy about it. away for a minute. But I just want to say, those parents have saved the day for Christmas. They really have. They've bought the laser engraver for us and then when I get my craft budget we'll be paying it straight back. But I'm just like, I'm really proud of Sophie and myself because we handled it so well. That could have gone a completely whole nother way mm. and we just done so well I mean we get stressed very easily and like our anxieties and stuff like that especially when it's things that like you put your trust in because mm. it's like um it's like being rejected mm. in, in a way and to some people that might sound really stupid, but that's just kind of like how it feels. Yeah, um, and and not only that, but if we couldn't get this engraver, we oh have yeah. let eight people down for Christmas. Yeah. Eight people. We were relying on this engraver to do eight presents. And we're really giving people as well, so we would have been absolutely mortified and to the extent of like, probably would have cried quite a lot. Yeah, I mean... The first thing that came to my mind was, I feel so guilty that my mum and my stepdad 
are bringing down on FEO to see us and we've got no present to give them and it's not a 10 minute journey oh, no. it's a 200 mile round trip and I just thought they can't come down and get, not get any presents it's just it's not bad. and I know they think they're not coming down to receive gifts but it's Christmas and I could not just I couldn't not give them anything so yeah I'm just glad it's halfway sorted and uh, we handled it really well actually yeah so, and I'm glad as well that like um haven't got nits my pops medication <laughs> makes me have really really itchy heads it's one of the side effects but yeah, carry on. I was just going to say that I'm glad as well that it didn't cause us to have an argument and get upset with each other. Yeah. Because usually, like, quite often if something happens like that, we both sort of panic mm. and then our natural reactions are sort of to go into defence mode. Yeah. Yeah, so... Fingers cough, the, cough cross the other and go for a rise on... Wednesday, and then we can get these presents sorted. Just gotta hope that we can master it and what we have in mind works. <laughs> Jeez, Pickle. You got a dirty bum. You really do. She's like, I don't care, you wipe it for me. I do. I don't really have much choice, I and mean, then you put that in my face. My She's got such. Now. No, just leave it on. Okay. She's got such big knickers, which is just. Alistair? Fluffy hair, like, on her legs. But everything just gets caught in it. Yeah, it does do it. Ew. Um, you can wait. Oh, I can't. Yes, you can. Oh, I can't. You smiled at me. I'm not... Alva! I'm not giving her anything. <laughs> oh. oh! She's just saying, but Mummy's got treats. Mummy's got treats. <laughs> Mummy's got treats. <laughs> Oh, bless You're him. looking at you, man. Yeah. But we're going to do some face masks after. We are, and you guys are going to see it either today, well, tomorrow. It'll be in probably. tomorrow's vlog. Um, especially mine, because mine's going to be quite interesting. She's smiling. Because I'm going to be using the one I got in my merch box. Yay! Which, if you haven't seen that video, Charlie will eye button it. Yes, I will. I'll eye card it. It'll be... Up here? I'm not sure if it's either up here or up here. I don't know if it flips when it's done. I don't know. It'll be one of... Th oh, sorry! One of these two! <laughs> It'll be in the top right-hand corner. Yeah. Ugh. God, my hair. So, um, we're just going to finish the girls. We're going to give them their treats. And then we're going to do face masks. So... Look at this smiler! I'm cute too. You are. So, we shall see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Good Bye. night. Where's it going? It's a raccoon, not a panda. Oh, I wonder if it's going to have a panda face on it. It's an aqua moisture raccoon. <laughs> you know you were cute because you took off your phone. You led on my pillow, which is holding up my phone. Let's see how this works. So it's the rub first. I, I didn't even read what i got to do with mine. You don't even know what type of phone.
my stronger and nicer than yours. that you're turning white now. Lovely her face is. Your nose is about to drop. Ew. So says her time, she can only have it on a maximum of 10 minutes. So she has to take hers off. Are you going to the bathroom to do it?
so the bubbles were supposed to be on the outside for sure. Yeah, because the bubbles, the bubbles are on my side as well. Mm. Like, both directions. And then, um, because as you can see, I've got the actual bubble in my face. Yeah. Um, I can still feel it bubbling on my face as it's getting on my mouth. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the bubble. Yeah. You're so bubbly. Try and take this off. Oh, my nose flat, flat. I was wondering what you were going to put at the end there. It's left dancing where my oxygen is as well. Let you know how it is in the morning. 